All right, so real quick, if you're having trouble with getting z-scores in JASP, I'm going to do a quick demo on that. I first want to note that anytime you need to make a new variable in JASP, you're always going to use this add variable feature, and then there's a variety of different computations you can do. Another important thing to pay attention to, there are some computations that can only be done with certain types of variables. In general, as we've learned, if your variable is scale, you can basically do any computation with it. So sometimes you'll need to make sure a variable is scale to be able to do the appropriate computation. For example, making z-scores assumes you can calculate a mean and a standard deviation. And you would do that in general for data that is interval or ratio, that is scale. So we're gonna make this variable scale to ensure we can perform the calculations we need here. Of course, you would wanna pay attention and hopefully be performing these actions correctly based on the type of data. There may be times in class where a variable that is not perfectly what you would expect in terms of being continuous, but is scale-ish, right? Um, like survey type responses or whatnot, where we might use normal scores for those uh, for instructional purposes. But we always wanna pay attention to and think about our data. So we're gonna make a new column. I'm just gonna call this Z. We're gonna create this new column. This brings up the computation. Now there's this nice feature, makes it really easy where you can do Z scores and you can do Z scores for the outcome so I'm going to make z-scores a frequency, and once I do that and I hit compute column, there are my z-scores, and that is all it takes.